Yo, what is up guys? I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Today we have a little experiment to run. Right now we do have the Noctua fan on the Bidax Gamma. Right now it is about 60.1 on the ASIC temp, 64 on the voltage regulator. We're right now we're about a 1.28. Hopefully that goes up to 1.3, but I'm not counting on it. We're gonna try to get this overclock to maybe two, maybe 1.5 at the max, hopefully. I don't know yet. Right now, we are going to put on the ice tower uh, cooling system upgrade that we have on it, that we're going to have on it. Uh, we're also going to have some copper heat sinks for you guys. So we're actually going to see how much of this actually matters for your gamma to get the most hash rate and the less uh, temperature for it as well. Further ado, let's first get into first, it. First, what I like to do with my gamma is I like to restart it before I work on it. So as you can see, it's going to hit a little restart real quick. That's when you guys are gonna unplug it and you should see it turn off. Now we're let's go hit the workbench and let's actually get this ice fan on. All right guys, so these are all the parts I'm gonna be installing for my Gamma. Right now I got some thermal grease right here, high performance. It actually came with the ice tower as you can see in this box. So it actually came with this. So this is what it looks like when you first get it. In the box, you're also gonna have some instructions which we're gonna stick to the side. And then we're gonna have some four, four screws right here. I'm assuming to mount it on. And this is gonna be the mounting plate. I don't know exactly how to mount this yet, but we're gonna figure that out. Uh, I also ordered, you don't have to do this, but I also ordered a Noctua fan, a second one. Uh, actually comes in really good packaging. Oh, I did not know who was gonna bring all these as well. But it does look like we could hook up I think this is an extender and this one actually is a split end so we can actually have two fans on this which I might consider in the future. I'm not too sure if I'm going to do that now or I don't know yet. It's still a lot to do with this. Then this is going to be my two coppers which I probably put one set on the other one but I got one set for you right now. So this is all the parts. Alright guys before we actually jump into the project let's actually uh, show you guys where I actually got all these parts from. I actually got these from Alter Tech. This is where I bought the uh, Ice Tower Heat Sink Upgraded Kit for the Bidax. Actually, it comes with everything that you just saw. In the picture, it says it has freaking nuts on the back of the on the back for the screws. That's a lie. Do not believe that. And you'll see why in the future when you keep watching this video. So this claims that it overclocks it by fifteen to twenty percent overclock, and it also it does A to 10 uh, C when compared to the stock heatsink, which we already had the Noctua fan and the upgraded heatsink already up uh, for it because of power mining. So for us, that's going to be not 15, 20, maybe like 5%, maybe even less. Who knows? This says it takes at least 10 minutes uh, to put on and then also gives you uh, a guide right here as well. And then if you also want to buy the upgraded fan, which this is going to be a thicker fan than the regular Noctua fan the power the power mining gave us. Power mining it was a little bit smaller, but this is the exact same one. It's a little quieter. Um, it says it has four, um, four screws to remove it. Sim pretty simple. Just a fan. Swap it. Done, done. So that is, uh, that is also what you're going to get. If you don't want to go through the hassle of uh, putting the upgrade on, which I can't blame you. If you don't want to do the upgrade and the fan together, you could just buy the whole Bidax ASIC miner with the shroud, if you want the shroud. But if you want the shroud, it comes with the Noctua fan and with the ice tower already on, already looks clean and beautiful. But if you don't want the, the enclosure, um, actually, I don't think they have one. Yeah, I think they all come in enclosures, except for the, the regular Gamma, the stock one. But they all do have the enclosures. But if you want the enclosure, you know, this is my recommendation. If you don't want to go through all this hassle, that's the video is going to bring. You'll see what I mean. This is exactly what you need. 300 bucks. Everything, everything that I spent was like around 70 bucks for all of it. Plus shipping was like another 10 bucks. So it was, really came out to like 80 bucks. So wasn't that bad wasn't wasn't that bad of a, a purchase 
But now let's actually get into the actual video. See you guys. Uh, as of right now, I want to say since I have the case, the actual full gamma case with it, I got to take off the case first. So I got to take off the two, the four bolts that hold it actually on. And then we're actually going to dive into it. All right. So once you're done removing those four bolts, as you can see, I'm finished here. This should pop right off. Now I notice that that also comes right off. The backside actually comes off. So I'm thinking I might do a little backside of the fan action on it. Who knows? Maybe I, that could be a possibility. I don't know how to actually set it up. But we're actually going to figure that out. So now, moving back over here. Now let's continue this. So now, I'm actually going to take off this fan and get this cord out of the way. Because as you can see, there's like a little clip. There's like a little clip right there that needs to come off. And it looks like it's a little tight room as before we could actually get to the heat sink and to the actual springs that it looks like. So I'll be right back. All right, guys, for now, taking off this little heat sink here, there's like a little, let me see if the camera can focus on it. There it goes. Like if you push it in, it looks like there's like a little lip to make it to where it stops. Which I actually found out, I was kind of scared. I was using needle nose at first. I was kind of scared to crush the, the plastic, but if you actually grab your mom's or your wife's or your husband's little tweezers, you know, I got tweezer man here, not sponsored by the way, probably get a better view from this side, see, boom, just like that, same thing on this side, I'm going to show one more time, boom, just like that, and just like that. Your heat sink is off. Yeah. Now it does have like this thermal paste on it, which I got all over my thumb, not great. <laughs> Don't do that. Wear gloves, guys. Cancer. Anyways, so now, what we're going to do now is I'm actually going to clean this off. And then I got this grease that I'm actually going to re be replacing it with. So I'll be right back. I found out that it goes like this. See how like there's little, little mounting ports for the screws to actually connect to it. So we're going to get the screws real quick. Oh, please don't knock that over. And we're just going to mount that back on. See you guys when this is, when the screws are on. Be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Sorry that took too long. Um, The bolts that originally came with it were... These small ones, if you guys can remember, if I could grab it, or these small ones. But then I'm like, how are you gonna put this on a Noctua fan that's gonna fit? Now let me just show you guys exactly what I'm actually talking about. So how is this fully gonna go through? That doesn't even, it doesn't even go halfway through, barely even halfway. So I, that's a dumb design. Or manufactured, whatever you want to call that, on that part. At the same time, do not flip this um, backwards. I actually did that the first time and I had to redo it. Secondly, when I was actually putting this fan on, you know how they have the little rubber pieces so it doesn't stop the vibrating? Or you're going to have to take that off. The screws that I actually used were the screws that I took off for the actual case itself, which... Now I got to find some screws that's going to mount the case, back, the case back on. But nevertheless, I'm going to have to redo it because the whole thing just got messed up in the process of me, I don't know, being retarded. I don't know. Anyways, um, now exactly, now we got to find a way to mount this on, which I'm thinking we could probably use the old ones from the original, which I'm probably going to read gonna use right now so i'll see you in a bit okay so it doesn't look too bad uh i don't like how the cord is all wonky but i guess you know it's fine you're not getting it for the look you're kind of just getting it for how good these things are they're so powerful they're so tiny i did lose one of them so i might as well just keep this one on just for now just in case i am gonna pop it back into the case right now and see if i even have the screws to Put it back together, but that's how it's going to look. I don't know. I might keep it like this, to be honest. I don't know if I... I don't know. I'm going to keep it like this for right now. So just to see how it looks right now. See if we can get an extra fan somehow, some way. Uh, I'm not too sure if I can or if I'm going to be able to. But yeah, that's going to be the next thing. So I'll be right back. 
All right, guys, we actually got it mounted on. We actually had to take two bolts out of the fan, which the fan is still on there pretty good. Plus, it has a little rubber behind it, so hopefully it's not going to be enough, a lot of wiggle, I should say. So I pull it on the left corner, I pull it on the right corner. And then you can't, with this case that I have, which I might get a new case, or, yeah, another case, because the bolt actually goes onto the back to actually hold everything all together with the actual gamma itself, so... You know that kind of that kind of sucks, but I will put a second fan on this. Is what I'm actually gonna be doing. Um, but I am gonna put some uh, copper, like I said. I might put it on the actual chip itself, and I might put one maybe like right here above the Bitax logo, and I'll be right back and I'll show you exactly where I actually put it up. I actually put both of the coppers on. Um, it kind of covers up ninety percent of the chip, which I do like. I then put it right over the six hundred one as well. Let's see what both of them actually do. See if we actually see a difference. And see how much we can actually overclock this by. Kind of curious. Leave your predictions in the comments below. And see if see if you're close. If you're close, you know I get you a little cookie. I don't know whatever whatever cookie you want. But that's how it originally came out. I don't know if I really like the look of itself. The kit itself is like a six out of ten to be honest. With all the bolts mishapping, mismatching, and just a uh, just kind of fails me. But let's go see how this does. All right, guys. It's been at least four days by the time I created everything. This is the actual end result. It's like a little Frankenstein bit axe right now. I, all the wires are a little crazy. I split it off at the very bottom. I actually have one fan right here. And if I could turn this over, I actually have another fan right here actually pointing at the voltage. And now this this little like setup that I had, I didn't have the bolts or it didn't come into with the package. It didn't come with the right bolts for the actual fan itself. So I didn't really have it on the mounting point like it should. So I had to get these um, like little rubber pieces that it came with the upgraded Noctua fan that I had to buy separately. But it already came inside as you could recall in the beginning of the, of the video. I actually had to stick that through the little wedges right there and like kind of slide like slide it up just so it could even hit the the copper just to cool it down and then i noticed as of right now if we come over here i actually have these at max core voltage and frequency is also maxed out to 620. i don't know if this camera can follow there it goes 625 and then i also have this at 125 with 100 percent fan speed so, as of right now, it's been, I'll tell you right now, four days, nine hours, as of right now. And then compared to the other one, so let's actually do this first before I jump into that, before I get a little too ahead of myself. So, the ASIC temp right now is about 56.9, and then voltage is at 58 right now, with 100% fan speed. I did actually overheat this uh, in the very beginning. It actually overheated on me and I had to put the voltage um, regular temp fan on the backside just to cool it down a little bit more. Just so it doesn't overheat and burn up my ASIC chips and stuff like that. But on the little graph, I've actually done, it's actually averaging about 1.4 right now. On, on average, honestly, it averages about like a 1.3, like around point, point 0.30 is where it's usually at spikes up to at least 1.8 sometimes on a good day or that i've seen but usually the average spike up is around almost 1.75 um let's go over here to the original the original right here this one i only did i only put one copper on the on this side on the very front this one i have front middle and then i also actually have some on the back side as well i actually have three because this kept overheating so badly that i actually had to do something about it because it was honestly so bad but compared to the old one that only has the noctua fan nothing else upgraded onto it it's pulling about 55 for the asic temp this one's about 56 with more of a little upgrade more voltage a little overclock same thing with the regulator temperatures at 59 with 100 percent fan speed this is about same thing 59 as well so is this kit really worth it? In my opinion, it is worth it if you're trying to overclock it. 
to get a little bit more hash rate out of your bit axe to get those little spikes up on average this one is 130 the other one is about 105 as of right now but i seen this at like 120 so you're pushing like 10 more hash or 0.10 hash rate more out of this with the little setup is that really worth it it's really up to you guys how you guys want to do it if you guys want to make a little frankenstein little bit axe like i did it's completely up to you guys i like this it is a little bit louder than the actual original version of itself because of the fan is a little bit bigger as you can tell this one's way bigger than the one in the back and plus i have two fans working on it so it's really up to you guys how you guys want to do this um as if as far as the kit goes the kit sucks as bolts wise as you can see through the whole video i was having trouble setting everything up it didn't really come with the good mounting bolts i had to use the freaking springs the original one had now i only have two uh so yeah i mean it's up to you guys right now i rate this at about like i give this like a good seven just because it actually does work but you had to do a little bit diy which that's what you're going to expect with these bid axes nothing is going to be straight out of the box here you go i mean unless you just want a cool little regular one by all means i think i honestly think those are good on its own but if you want to do a little bit more like I it didn't have the right bolts that this actually could pop out at any time. Nothing as you can see, like I could just remove it whenever I want. Those bolts, there's nothing holding these bolts. Just pure pure luck and and hopefully it doesn't fall out. But so far it hasn't fell out, so we're good on that. But yeah, please like the video, subscribe, let me know what you guys want want to see. I will be dropping another video on another home miner for you guys so you guys don't have to see these bit axes as much as that all you guys want to see but let me know what you guys want to see i have uh i got some asic videos for you guys coming out soon i been really hard behind the scenes over here i know these videos these editings aren't that good i apologize for that i will get better at the around time but i am trying to give you guys some content so please bear with me i appreciate that and i'll see you guys in another video